Africa has a particularly rich musical tradition and it's without a doubt the most influential continent musically in the world. We have melodies, we have scales, we have rhythms, but the only problem you find that the generation of nowadays, the musicians of nowadays, they don't know the ways of giving this heritage to the coming generation. Music education in my country, it doesn't help musicians as much. There's some academies who are teaching like classical music and stuff like that, and which is very good. But like in Uganda, where are you gonna play that? You see, we don't have schools and music schools in Malawi, so everybody is difficult to to learn music. But the musicians themselves are actually shut out of the educational system because the educational system caters really just for the elite. People like the Associated Board of Royal Schools of Music produced a, a kind of a version of, of Western European music and taught people sort of more or less what the elements were and and then kind of after colonial times disappeared and then this version of European music just became stranger and stranger and less and, and it never really related to people's realities. Any kind of education which starts you outside of your culture is an education of oppression. We have the content, you know, we have what uh, the material, you see, and they have the skills and the techniques. Eu acho que o Crossroad é em parceria com a Global Music Academy é um currículo, é um currículo abrangente, é um currículo, é um currículo inclusivo, não exclusivo, porque Tem questão da música da terra, música próxima. What we're getting at Global Musical Academy is greater in that we have simplified ways, simplified ways of teaching music. And mind, when you when you move up, always, always bend your arm a little bit. Don't do this. And always um, stand a little bit as a teacher, stand a little bit as Es hat eine Weile gedauert, ähm, da so ein, so ein Curriculum zusammenzustellen. Wir sind immer noch dabei, das zu ändern. Aber es hat sehr viel Spaß gemacht. Und das sehr Erfreuliche ist, ähm, immer zu sehen bei den Teilnehmern, wie die Augen glänzen, wenn sie doch richtig schnell Fortschritte machen und auch das Gefühl haben, dass es überhaupt nicht unmöglich ist. Nein, sie können es tatsächlich verstehen, was wir ihnen dabei bringen. Und sie haben auch das Gefühl, sie können es anwenden, weil wir es ihnen auf eine Art und Weise anbringen, die ihrer, ähm, die ihrem musikalischen Umfeld doch eher entspricht. Right foot, right foot, left foot, left foot. Sie lernen sozusagen parallel Rhythmen erstmal ähm, äh, physisch zu verstehen, indem sie sie laufen, indem sie sie klatschen, indem sie sie sprechen und indem sie die rhythmischen Zusammenhänge erkennen, also physisch fühlen ähm, und parallel ähm, mache ich mit ihnen Theorie und ähm, bringe ihnen schrittweise die Notenschrift bei, die rhythmische Notenschrift, das, was sie vorher gelaufen sind, was sie geklatscht haben, was sie leicht körperlich verstanden haben, wie man das dann gut zu Papier bringen kann, sodass es wirklich jeder versteht. Among many things inspiring here is the readiness of the participants to sing. It helps a lot to the teaching because this is another direct method to approach the topic of the day like body percussion it uses the body and the voice uses also the body people being able to sing back you know the lines that they're doing and uh, using uh, uh, rhythmic methods to teach harmonic ideas and vice versa, like uh, melodic methods to teach rhythmic ideas.
When you change something, you change only one thing at a time. In the right hand, next change is that the bottom note. We treat them as separate objects, separate classes, but then more and more, as we go on, the trainees and we understand how much this meets and how much the different topics help each other and inspire each other. You know, South Africans uh, really can play deep, many different kinds of music. So that changed my attitude a lot. Let me hear, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to hear the guitars that are not mine. Yeah. Also, right. Also, if we have to. To, to talk or to collaborate with uh, our neighbors here, like uh, Malawi, like Kenya, uh, we need the same language. The Global Music Academy is, is helping in a way. But they can never really like put everything in one basket. It's, it's not possible. It's so diverse. It's so diverse. Shams or singer will reply with the same thing. More. Param pam para pam pam pam. But what what they are doing by getting us together is you know studying each other's rhythms and uh, actually uh, sort of standardizing. <laughs> It's not just people pitching up to, to earn per diems and, and go home having had a nice holiday. I mean, people come here and they work like basically day and night for 20 days. When you come again to see back home, you see, uh, you find that we need such things. When I get back home, it was like, boom, yes, like I have materials to teach others. If you're going to teach music, basically, or anything for that matter, you need tools. Espetacular. Acho que as palavras não chegam para para dizer o que está a ser na realidade este treino. To many of them, it's it's a big help, and they're happy. We ourselves discover always new aspects in the whole system. Ghana, Niger, Senegal, Congo, Angola, Botswana, Ethiopia. The, I mean, the list is almost endless of countries that would love to join.